To be able to identify manipulative people is a useful skill. If you know who they are, you are better equipped to avoid being exploited by them. The problem is, many manipulative individuals are hard to identify. They look, act and talk like honest people. Fortunately, there are signs you can look for that instantly give a Machiavellian's personality away. There are six dimensions of personality. These are emotionality, extroversion, agreeableness, conscientiousness, openness to experience and the last one, honesty and humility, which is called the H factor. The H factor determines people's approach towards money, sex and power. People who have a low H factor are more prone to manipulative, exploitive, narcissistic, flattering and calculating behavior. In this video, I'm going to discuss 6 signs that can help you identify low age manipulative people. But first, I'm going to mention 4 signs that you might think would indicate a person is honest, but actually don't. The first not valid sign, respectability. Many people assume that a well-spoken, well-dressed and well-mannered person must also be well-intentioned. The problem is, many manipulative people find that by appearing to be well socialized, it's much easier to take advantage of others. A respectable appearance is not the indication of trustworthiness. It's equally unwise to think that every respectable position in society is occupied by a high age person. If someone has a respected occupation, a prominent role in their community, we cannot conclude that this person must have an honest personality. Many manipulative people can navigate social relationships quite successfully and many manipulative people also aspire to a position of high status and power. The second not valid sign, religious piety. There are many low age people who act very religious. They attend religious services and participate in religious rituals, but they are simply trying to create an image of respectability to maintain status within their community. Signs of religious commitment are not a dependable indicator of a high age personality. The third not valid sign, the defender of the victimized. Some people vocally defend the disadvantaged and the oppressed, and many of those people are motivated by their sincere desire to promote social justice. But for some, this role serves merely as a catalyst for obtaining a position of high status. When you see a prominent defender of the victimized, it isn't immediately obvious whether that person is an honest idealist or a manipulative opportunist. The last not valid sign, publicly display generosity. On the surface, people who give their wealth away to some worthy cause would seem clearly to be high age people, but this isn't necessarily so. If the donation is highly visible, then the gift is more accurately viewed as an exchange of money for social status. Charitable acts are much more likely to reflect a high level of H when the donor gives without seeking attention, for example when the donation is made anonymously. 5 Valid Signs of a Low Age Manipulative Personality The first one, beating the system. It might seem obvious that you shouldn't trust people who tell you about various ways of breaking the law, but some people seem fairly harmless when they tell you about various ways to outsmart the system. For example, evading certain taxes or custom duties or how to outsmart certain institutions. They may rationalize their actions as not being really wrong, since no single person is directly harmed. Don't be fooled, people who will cheat an institution will likely cheat individuals too, and that includes you. The second sign, gambling and financial speculation. Gamblers tend to be low in age, more precisely, people who often bet a lot of money at casinos, on sport events, in card games, etc. The same applies to people whose financial investments amounts to short-term speculation, whether on currencies, cryptocurrencies, commodities, real estate or stocks. Of course, many high age people will play some low stakes poker and many high age people will invest in business ventures that have a real risk of failure. But people who regularly risk a lot of money in gambling or speculation probably have a strong desire to get rich quickly or to get something for nothing. Such people tend to be low in age factor, so it's best not to be too trusting of them. The third sign, selective flattery. Some people can be very friendly and polite and pleasant, but mainly towards people who have something they want or hold some position of influence. 
unless you know a person very well. It can be hard to distinguish flattery from sincere respect or genuine politeness, apart from really harsh situations where one's welfare depends on the whims of powerful people. The use of flattery tactics is largely a function of a manipulative personality. The fourth sign, sexual infidelity. People who cheat on their partners tend to be low in age, as well as people who try to poach the partners of others. A low age man is likely to boast of his sexual conquests, and a low age woman is likely to boast about the material benefits of her relationships or the status of her partners. The fifth sign, extravagant spending. A person who buys expensive luxury items with the goal of impressing people tend to be low in age. What matters here is the overall pattern of luxury spending. For example, a high age car enthusiast might own an expensive car. However, people who own or aspire to own a wide variety of highly visible luxury items just for the sake of impressing people are expressing a low level of age. They will also bring to your attention their relationships with famous and rich people or their memberships in prestigious institutions. The last sign, above the law mentality. Some people decide that they belong to a special class of persons to whom the normal rules should not apply. Their self-appointed membership in this athlete may be based on their social class or ethnicity or on what they perceive to be their own superiority of intellect or attractiveness or any other asset. They may assure you that you too belong to this athlete. Don't be seduced by this. When people see themselves as gods who should be exempt from the laws and norms that govern lesser beings, they will also feel quite justified in exploiting the latter in one way or another. So what should you do when you realize someone is probably very low in age? The best advice is to simply limit your interaction with them. Don't choose them as romantic partners. Don't choose them as business partners. Don't choose them as friends. Just stay away from them. Don't fool yourself into thinking you can somehow teach a low age person to appreciate the joys of being fair for the sake of fairness. A manipulative person will always be alert to ways of exploiting you. Fortunately, the most serious forms of exploitation are recognized as crimes, so in the worst situation you should go to the police. However, low age people vary a great deal in their potential for really criminal predatory behavior, depending on their levels of the other five personality dimensions. The flip side of avoiding low age people is seeking out high age people. By gaining the benefits of cooperation with one another, honest people can thrive in what often seems like a low age world. The information of this video is from the age factor of personality. If you want to learn more about the other five dimensions of personality, as well as the different low age personalities, then I recommend reading the book. I have a link in the description. Thank you for watching.